and here is another one. That is a blackberry, blackberry bush. Be careful with the blackberry bush. I have done so much today, it is crazy. This is productive. So I started with the planting those bushes and three different uh, black colored berries is what I planted in my yard and the blackberry doesn't need so deep soil so I put it where I don't have the soil they can survive in rocky ground those blackberries I like them a lot I just have to wait a few years now until I can eat some blackberries and then when I was finished with planting everything I went to repair the windows I used the uh, Rustin's wood filler filled in, used the entire can to repair just a single window that was rotted. I had to just scrape off all the rotten wood very soft and I fill, used the wood filler to cover. And I didn't have enough for that, so Hopefully it will just blocks, block those ants from coming back there because they had made a huge hole inside under the window board. Huge hole and I couldn't fill it all. I just had to fill the opening with the Rustin's wood filler and it's very expensive. It's like uh, $30 for a can. so. I use it all and it's really expensive to repair that rotted window and then I use that the Rustin's uh, wood preserver for the rest of the window frame which is um, keeps the bugs away like uh, protection against thermites and stuff like that that is the liquid I used when that window was finished, I went to the basement and started uh, brushing with uh, Rustin's uh, wood hardener, which is made for rotted wood. And in the basement, uh, the, the, the beams in the basement are rotted and they can't be replaced. And that is the, the, the floor above is where I walk on every day and those beams in the basement when they are rotted eventually they are gonna break and then I don't have a, a floor above it to, to walk on when I go out with the dogs so the, the floor above the basement is the hallway that gets the biggest amount of traffic in my house and the basement wooden beams under are rotted so I, I, I painted with that uh, wood hardener and it is kind of a ep epoxy oil paint that I, it started ripping in, in my on my arm I wore gloves okay I wore those plastic protective gloves and the the liquid just started destroying my glove started getting holes in my glove and it started dripping down on, on, on my forehead on my, on my forearm and I, I, I started getting very sticky my fingers started getting glued together and my, I could feel when I bent my my arm that I got stuck in this kind of position because of the glue, the epoxy glue. So I just had to scrape for half an hour and uh, scrape my arm and my fingers and I still have the epoxy left on my fingers here. You see that? I still have it 
right there which I couldn't uh, scrub off <coughs> and my uh, here on my forearm also I got all red from the scrape trying to scrape away the epoxy and the smell was really awful really awful smell of those chemicals and I wore a mask and still it went through the fumes went through the mask really unpleasant experience I had today with those chemicals and then when I, I was finished uh, I had to you had to put two layers in the basement okay so after the first layer I went to scrub scrub away the epoxy and then I, then I went back started painting another layer of the uh, wood hardener the problem is that uh, I just painted the visible area of wood there's a lot of hidden area of wood those wooden beams that are hidden behind that uh, drywall those plates at the ceiling and uh, I have to take away those plates first before I can see the exposed wood and see what kind of rot damage it has so I'm not not finished it's gonna take I have to buy another can of that liquid really dangerous liquids is what I'm dealing with and I just I just brushed whatever I, I, I saw that was rotted so the hidden parts I I just have to wait with that okay and also to prevent further rust in the basement I'm keeping my basement heated and I use a dehumidifier to remove the humidity that's gonna prevent the rust from sp spreading and so that's good and then I also uh, when I was finished with that I went to the big hall and uh, repair the window there and put that wood hardener on the rotted area at the bottom of the window but also the top of the window and um, because I live in an old church so the windows are really tall it comes in eight pieces of those windows I just finished the bottom piece but the top piece the top piece is so rotted that the window is sliding out and the wood at the top the wooden frame at the top there it is bent outwards so the glass is slowly sliding out and I cannot scrape it if I scrape the wood to remove the dry rotted wood I'm afraid that the window will fall out the glass will fall out so I don't know yet what I will do with that and uh, I'm, I could just just carefully paint with that uh, uh, wood hardener the e epoxy epoxy oil which I used I could paint with that carefully so the w window the glass doesn't fall out but it's gonna fall out eventually and I just don't know what to do then and my plan here is to put some uh, put a greenhouse film on the inside of the window because my greenhouse film doesn't have any UV protection but on the inside it's gonna work great so that's gonna prevent the condensation of the glass of the window so the window frame is not gonna rot that easily 
so I put some plastic on the inside where the condensation will occur on the greenhouse film itself instead of the wood of the window. Okay. And now I'm gonna go and record some videos and do video editing. And you can do a lot of things every day if you just get started right away after you wake up. Go and do things that you have to do in your home. And you can get a lot of things done in a very short time if you if you just keep doing it without stopping. Don't take any breaks, just go non-stop forwards. So I haven't eaten anything today, I haven't drank any any water other than what I drink when I wake up. I have been just fully active repairing things. I have a lot of windows left, I have about 100 windows to, to scrape and oil. So it's gonna take... Hopefully I will be finished before the snow comes. So I really have to be doing it 100% if I'm gonna make it in time. Okay, and also I have to get on the ladder outside the window and I'm gonna wait until the, the sting nettles die because I don't want to fall down into the, the nettles which are have needles if I fall off the ladder I want it probably maybe like if I'm gonna go on a ladder maybe I want there to be snow under me if I fall so if you go on a ladder maybe put it in snow so if you fall off it is soft because you land in soft snow that might be a good good plan that I do it when it's snow that I go out on the ladder high up and repair things and that is my house right there in the dark you see those tall windows right there you see that four pieces on the outside four pieces on the inside so eight parts in those tall windows and the top area is where the rat is really tough to get there so I'm gonna go now I'm gonna go back and repair things I will see you next time goodbye